G'day grass cutters. Just a short video on how to uh, maintain your, uh, your hedge trimmer blade and make sure that it stays nice and sharp and doesn't stick and get stuck. Um, because I like to use a cover on my, um, on my hedge trimmers, uh, because I like to use one of these, I have to use a water dispersant or you know CRC WD-40, something like that on the blade before putting it back in here after use. But because I am getting a sharpen done tomorrow on this one, I thought that I would uh, do one of my wet uh, hedges that I, um, uh, uh, for, for a client, it was, it was in the morning, it was covered in dew, and I thought I'll do it, and I won't put the cover back on it, um, so you can see the result of when that, uh, when you do that. Now, that's with the safety off and using the trigger. And as you can see, the blade actually gets stuck. Now that's two days. That's using it on a hedge, putting it in the cover without putting uh, a water dispersant or an anti-rust uh, on there. Now, what it does is any sap um, and, uh, and whatnot goes dries really tacky and hard. And not only that, any water or dew um, causes a bit of corrosion and gets in between the, uh, in between the teeth there uh, and stops them from sliding. Now, a little bit of that stuff. There you go. And she's going again. But you saw what happens after two days of just not uh, putting that worst water dispersant on there and just putting a cover on like that. Straight into the trailer and that's what happened. Stop working within two days. So just remember, look after your equipment. Any hedge trimmer, once you finish using it, um, if, uh, if you don't use a cover, it probably won't be as bad unless you're leaving it uh, in the uh, in an open tray or um, a lot of moisture can get into your trailer um, it, it might still happen but um, if you're like me and you like to use a cover to make sure that it's not banging around and bumping the edges off your nice sharp hedge trimmer put a bit of water dispersant you might be able to pick this up pretty cheap maybe even free if you do a lot of uh, if you get a lot of lot of servicing and uh, equipment through a steel dealer but uh whack it on there whack that on there and she'll stay nice and sharp nice and clean